Hi, I'm Tom from Alpha Tech Pet. Today we want to show you how to install one of our Lafferty mixing stations. We went with Lafferty because they're sturdy, made of stainless steel, all brass fittings, and these polypropylene injector valves here. We're at K9 Chaos today. They were nice enough to let us install this and film it. First of all, you just want to start off with a level. I've already uh, leveled where we're going to put the mixing station. You need to have it near a hose, so we have water here with just a, a regular garden hose fitting. And we're going to put it right on here. So Make sure it's level, and you also want to make sure that the unit is higher than the, the chemicals that you're using because you don't want any siphon to go backwards. So if it's up higher, it's not going to draw the chemicals on its own. So you're just going to mark off here. Have that. So here we hit a stud, so we're just going to put screws right into the stud, which is nice. But here we didn't hit a stud, so you can't just put a screw in the drywall, it'll pull right out. So we're going to put these plastic anchors in first, tap them in. And once you put the screw in there, it's going to expand and hold it on nice and firm so we don't have to worry about it falling off. You know that I've had place because these dogs haven't stopped barking. I don't know if it's me and the drill that's getting them going or if it's lunchtime. I think it must be lunchtime. Now that we have the mixing station on the wall, we're going to attach our hose here, the water supply, and then we're going to run our tubing and we're going to put it into the in injector jets that are going to suck up the uh, kennel saw and then odor pet and the other two. So it'll be kennel saw spray bottle, kennel saw mop bucket, odor pet spray bottle, odor pet mop bucket. Uh, but you can actually do whatever you want. If you want to put a glass cleaner in one, um, a degreaser in the other, you, you can configure it however. So let's get that going. Okay, now that we have the mixing station installed in the wall, we're going to run the feed tubes. These are the, the suction tubes that are going to draw the chemicals up into the mixing station and mix it to the proper dilution rate. So what I like to do is take the cap off and then we drill some holes in there in, in advance with our little uh, drill. And to keep it from you know, anything falling in this larger hole, we're just going to take the weight off. And we're just going to feed the tubes through. One is going to be for the mop bucket, and then we'll put this one through, and this will be for our spray bottle. So what you want to do is put these on right through here at our, our weights, just to hold the tubes down to the bottom of the barrel, or your five gallon pail, or your gallon jug, or you buy your chemicals. So we just uh, slide these filters on here so nothing, no debris gets sucked up in there. And we're good to go. So we pull them apart. I'm just going to feed them right in here. And just slide them down. The, the tube's curled up because we just got it out of the box. And then you don't have to put this on very tight, just enough to hold it in place. Okay, so now that we've got the cap in, the hose is in, we made sure that the tubes go all the way down to the bottom of the barrel, so you're going to get all the liquid out of it. We're going to take the hoses, we'll tack them to the wall, make it look nice and neat. This particular job, it's running through another wall that we had pre-cut, so we'll go from there and we'll show you the rest when it's done. Okay, so now we're going to attach the hose and you want to make sure that you use a washer that has a screen in it. You want to, that'll just eliminate any chance of debris getting sucked in and clog clogging the injectors and just ruining your mixture. So we'll put that in there first. And now we're gonna put the hoses on here. So the spray bottle hose, the mop bucket hose, spray bottle mop bucket, and we're gonna get a water pressure reading. So when you check for the water pressure, you don't want static water pressure with no water's flowing. So we're just gonna push in one of these levers, let the water flow into the sink, and then take a reading. And that's how we're gonna determine uh, what type of pin we need to put in there. Okay, so now that we have our hoses here. This is uh, 
for a mop bucket it goes right down to the ground and the shorter ones are for your spray bottles so we're just gonna stick it right up in here where the uh, connection is you just have to push them on they slide right they stop and there you go okay so now that we have the water connected uh, we're reading the static pressure of the water and we're reading about 58 so you don't want to use that when you're going to determine which pin you're going to use now we just have to push the button water is on we're getting 58 we push the button now and now the actual running pressure we have is 40 psi so that's good we got 40 psi and it comes with a chart we can look at. You're just gonna fill in what type of equipment you have. This one is a 981-400, it's a four-way push lever mixing station, and we have 40 PSI. And it just tells you exactly what you need to know, how many ounces per gallon. We're gonna go with the 2.32, which will be the dark green pin. So that's what we're gonna use here. You get this kit with all the little color pins in it and this nifty little tool. So we're just going to put the pin in. It is a threaded pin, and so we're in the mop bucket, and we're just going to screw it in lightly here. And you don't really have to crank it in tight either, just put it in hand tight, that's good. So we have that in, okay, so we're going to run this through here. I'm going to neaten these hoses up once I'm done, but I just want to make sure everything's flowing correctly. Put it behind all the other hoses, and you just slide it right on all the way up to the tip. There it goes got water pressure now let's get some suction going here about 20 feet and there you go now we're mixing chemicals that suck the chemicals all right up that was nice so now let's just connect the rest of these up and we'll neaten it up and make sure everything's going good Okay, so we just completed the mop bucket for the kennel saw. Now we're going to attach the hose for the, the spray bottle. So the spray bottle has a little different flow rate. It's a little slower. So we're going to go to the bottle fill. And let's see, it's 2.10, two ounces per gallon. And that's a bright purple. So we'll put a bright purple pin in here, test it to make sure it flows, and then we'll be good to go. So we're just going to fill up. This is all you do is just walk up. You'll stick the hose in here, push it. And it's going to fill it up. Let it drain in there. Kennel saw. Pretty easy. Nice. So now that we have all our pins in, uh, all the chemical lines are in the drums that they're going to suck the chemical solution out of, our kennel saw and our odor pet. This is just a much better way of distributing your chemicals. It's safer, it's easier, it's more accurate and you're gonna have consistency throughout your facility cleaning it. So, if you need any more information on the Lafferty Mixing Station from Alpha Tech Pet, you can call us at 1-800-222-5537, or you can go to our website, alphatechpet.com. Thank you very much.